Hey, yo. America there. Welcome back, Smoking Air Tavern. I am smoking. There, I didn't say it. <laughs> I um, promised y'all a story, and I thought of a couple ones. First one. Still working upstate New York. I told you a number of stories of us. We went through a period after that summer when I came back to work. Um, went back up just right at or right after Halloween that year. And worked up through the winter over into the, I think it was, uh, it was May when I finally left that job. And it was in that winter. About six weeks. And he said it was the coldest recorded, coldest winter recorded in upstate New York that year or of that part of upstate New York, I don't know, in Greene County. Which meant even like six weeks below zero. It was cold. Well, there was this one weld that I was given to do. We tacked it up at the end of the night, barely. It was a socket weld. And a socket weld, you get an outer, it's sort of over your fitting. And you got to make that, you got to make the weld around here. Where it fits up, but, but, Pipe fits up inside of it. Anyways, so we got it fit up. Come in the next morning to make this weld. I'm going to think about this all night. It was about a three quarter inch socket weld. It was about that high off the ground. Now, You know, they're doable, but a little bit tough, doable weld in summertime in the south. In the middle of winter, below zero, and it was, I think, something like eight or nine below zero that day, that morning. And I've got on everything. I mean, I've got layer upon layer upon layer, but you a hard hat. And to make to make a weld, you had to have a hard hat hood on. You got your hard hat, you got the weld hood on. I could not get low enough to get down there to see that. So, the decision was made, I'm going to strip down to my jeans and t-shirt. This is a TIG weld. So we try putting a piece of of um, cardboard down. I still couldn't get it low enough. I had to get rid of the cardboard. So I'm laying on concrete. I lay down up, up underneath there in t shirt, jeans, and a soft hat hood. Strike mark. Start making a weld. Walk in my cup. I'll go and get it done. Now, we had. Inside the power plant, we had hooches that we had made. And what we'd do, we'd, we'd set up a makeshift framing. We'd throw welding screens over the top of it and visqueen, and we'd take a piece of pipe, put three legs on it, and a piece of angle iron weld tacked to the bottom of it. Tacked to the bottom of it. And three pieces of angle iron across the top. Let's stick a, a propane torch up in there and light it. Weed burner. And that would get great heat and throw heat throughout the hooch. 
they didn't like us doing this. We were working for Bechtel at the time. And they kept saying, they're a bee mess with me. And, and uh, they didn't want us doing these. They had journal foremans and everybody fussing us about doing it. But each, each crew had it. It's colder than hell. We're going to do it. I had this one guy working with me. He was a French Canadian. He wasn't in our crew. He was in the Jason crew. This guy was huge. He was like maybe about a millimeter or two shy of seven feet tall. He was a freaking giant. And he wasn't tall and skinny. This dude was a freaking Bigfoot. He was a big, red-headed French Bigfoot. And um, in fact, he handed me a pair of mittens one time. It was cold, my hands were freezing. He tossed me these mittens he had. I could have put my whole damn leg inside one of these damn things. They were huge, like catcher's mitts. So anyway, so I'm down here making this weld. And when I got done, they said that I was the shade of blue. I was a shade of Le brand new pair of Levi 501 shade blue, 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 cold. And um, so I finish and hear this big voice go, are you done? Yeah, yeah, says I. This guy reached down. He grabs my belt in my right arm, picks me up like a hunk of wood, walks down the aisle, between this equipment, and walks up to our hooch, steps in our hooch. The hooch is full of foremans, journal foremans, job him. Everyone who said we're not supposed to have this sitting around being nice and warm while we're out the freezing ass off. He steps in and goes, get out. <laughs> it looked like rats. <laughs> he sits me down and goes, you'll stay here till I tell you you can leave. Sorry, I sound like Schwarzenegger, but that's what it sounded like to me. You got the jolly, the jolly red giants and you'll stay here till I say you're warm. You stay there. Okay. <laughs> I sat there, froze my ever-living ass up. I got warmed up. That was one cold job site. Well, that's that story. I'll be right back with the other. Y'all take care. By the way, I'm smoking, as you say, Cornishman. In that bent um, Chapman, long, cha long champ, and it's a good pipe. Take care. Be right back.